right, now we're going to give you guys a tour of the guitars. Uh, these are some of the guitars that I pulled out to show you guys today. And we're going to start right here with this guitar. This is one of my most recent acquisitions, and uh, I really am digging on this guitar. It's a 1959 Fender Hardtail, three-tone sunburst, maple neck strat. Uh, it's original vintage 1959 guitar. Um, you know, the hardtails are kind of underappreciated. Everybody seems to want a guitar that has a tremolo in it. Uh, but there's a certain sound you can get from a hardtail guitar that you just can't get from a tremolo guitar. Uh, it really rings like a bell, you know, when you're playing those chords and stuff. And uh, I'm really fond of the sound of it. Uh, only modifications made to this guitar are what I do to all my guitars, basically the Graftech saddles and the big uh, frets on here. And all my guitars, uh, I use the Ernie Ball strings, I use really heavy gauges, uh, fairly heavy gauges, uh, 11, 14, 18, 28, 38, and a 58 for the low E to get that big fat sound. Next, uh, we have the 1961 Strat that I showed you guys just a few minutes ago. Again, this is my baby. Uh, this is the original, uh, one of the greatest sounding guitars that I have ever played in my entire life. Uh, that guitar will be with me for the rest of my life. This guitar right here is a really interesting guitar. Uh, it was built for me uh, at the Fender Custom Shop. Uh, it was a gift, I believe, for my, I want to say my 19th birthday um, by the builder J.W. Black, uh, who was one of the greatest guitar builders ever at the Fender Custom Shop. Uh, when he was at the custom shop, he handled all of my guitars. Uh, he built this guitar for me uh, to try, and basically it's a, it was one of the early Relic guitars. This has an experimental finish on it that I believe this is the only guitar that had this finish on it. Um, but it was supposed to uh, age uh, very prematurely, and uh, the idea was that uh, this guitar was going to be uh, a replacement for my 61 Strat, and this finish was supposed to age so fast uh, that I was going to be able to wear it down in just a matter of a couple of years and then uh, it would resemble my 61 very closely with all of this wear from me playing it. Um, it's got a few interesting features. It's got a left-handed tremolo system on it, which is something that uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan did. Uh, it's got this experimental finish. It's got these unique pickups in it. It also has staggered uh, tuning pegs with staggered poles, uh, which, you know, take the string uh, that's wound up here and puts them at different heights, which is supposed to help uh, when using the tremolo system. This guitar right here is a very special guitar. This is actually the prototype, uh, I believe, for the 1960s Relic. So this is like the very first 1960s Relic uh, that Fender made. Uh, at one time, Keith Richards had this guitar. Uh, then I got my hands on it, we modified it, put a left-handed tremolo on it, and put the big frets on it, but everything else is completely original. The way that they made it, it's stamped on the back of it, it says prototype on the headstock, and uh, the body is stamped relic inside the, the rear cavity. So it's a, it's a pretty interesting piece, and it's a very historical guitar. Right here, these three guitars are three different versions of my signature series Stratocaster. These are the Kenny Wayne Shepherd Signature Series guitars. This first one up here is a prototype. This is one of the very early models of my black uh, Signature Strat that had the racing stripes. As you can tell, these stripes are not the stripes that went into production. Um, so, and also you can see that we have black knobs here and black pickup covers, which did also didn't make production. So you can kind of see this guitar shows you some of the things that we were experimenting uh, with in the overall appearance of the guitars as uh, we were going through the prototype process. This is the white guitar with the cross that my wife designed. Uh, this is her uh, hand-painted artwork that they apply to each one of these guitars uh, when they're painting it and then they clear coat over it. And then this is obviously the sunburst version of the same guitar. So these are my signature series Stratocasters. This guitar is a 50th anniversary uh, 1954 Stratocaster and I picked this one up when I went over to uh, meet with the guys at Fender and we were first discussing uh, making my signature series and uh, I went to their headquarters and ended up going home with this guitar and uh, it's pretty cool to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Fender Strat. 
Now this guitar here is a guitar that was custom built uh, by Rene Martinez. Rene Martinez was Stevie Ray Vaughan's guitar tech, uh, among other people. Uh, he works with uh, Carlos Santana, John Mayer, uh, but Stevie Ray Vaughan and Rene worked together for a very long time. Uh, Rene built this guitar for me, and this is a clone or a replica of one of Stevie Ray Vaughan's guitars. Uh, he had a white a uh, guitar that was built for him by one of his friends, Charlie, who owned Charlie's Guitar Shop in Texas. And this guitar is a faithful reproduction of that guitar. This is another custom shop. This is uh, basically uh, a custom Strat that was built for me by Jay Black. It had uh, my uh, neck uh, from at that time. This is the neck that, that had my specifications and my dimensions to it that he put on all my guitars. Uh, has really nice bird's eye maple to it. Um, this was a prototype or experimental uh, guitar. This is when they were actually experimenting with the relicking process. So they were trying, uh, you know, different techniques to try and age the guitars. And this was one of their guitars that they experimented with uh, the relic process on. Um, once they were finished trying whatever they tried out, he put this guitar together for me and sent it out for me to use on the road. And then right here, uh, last but not least, is the Wayne Kramer Signature Edition Stratocaster. Uh, Wayne, uh, you probably know him from the band the MC5. Wayne is a good friend of mine and uh, you know they were a pretty killer rock band. Uh, but what an awesome guitar. When I saw it, uh, I just had to have it. I mean, you know, look at that. It's awesome. I did modify it. I put my own signature series neck on it so that it plays just like one of my guitars. But it's a pretty uh, unique setup, obviously, with the American flag paint job. But the two single coil pickups and the humbucker in the middle gives it a pretty unique sound. Yeah.